who is it that determines what is natural, what is un unnatural? Basically, it's about morals and subjectivity aspect of it, right? Somebody responded to my video dealing with uh, abortion, pro-life, pro-choice, um, and they made a specific uh, comment about my, you know, my my premise that you know I'm pro-life and pro-choice. If somebody doesn't want their baby, then it should be removed from them at whatever stage it is and given up for adoption or taken care of by the government. And so they took issue with the idea of the government taking care of somebody's child. And you'll see this a lot, especially with the, the Occupy Wall Street going on and an idea of people getting benefits, the idea of, of people being taken care of by the government, this and that, you know, um, that it shouldn't happen. You know, everybody should work hard. Everybody should suffer. Um, and I'm about to start talking about something else came to mind or somebody made comment, you know, I work jobs I don't like, so you should too. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. I'm not saying that's not right. I'm saying it doesn't make sense to me. As a process that it doesn't make sense that you would choose to believe that it is best that you strive and suffer and go through your life of an unhappiness and working in a job making money because you need to survive and being unhappy because um, that's the best thing to do instead of the government providing everything for everybody providing you with everything you need everything you need and everything you want um, but that's just me and I'm saying I'm not right that I'm right um, that's the way I, I, I process that's the way I'm able to within whatever it is that Cause me to somebody else. Some people say I choose to think that way. Well, then I choose to for whatever reason I choose to. I say there's a reason I, ch I choose to. It's not really a choice. It's that I have to. My then the only choice comes. The only choice. The only time choice comes comes in the equation is me deciding to go with what is what natural comes to me or not go with it. But it's still not. It's still no choice. Well, anyway. Um, take care of so once again the idea of government take care of something why well I want to what, I, what it is I really want to say is why is it or who is it that says that it's bad for somebody to want a free hands out why is it bad for someone wanting not to work hard who is it that's determined that it is a natural process for for people to work hard for people to to work hard to take care of themselves and not be taken care of by somebody else, the government. Who made that natural process? And, and, and further to further that out, to expand that, it, it's, it gets to the, the concept, ideas of what is natural and what is unnatural. Even when you go to homosexuality, why is it that it's, it's unnatural for homosexuality? Within the scope to the prism of our existence, of our reality, of what is possible. What is possible can happen. What is possible may happen. So for some, some people will find a natural, a natural desire, a natural tendency, a natural pull to work hard and strive to work for themselves. And others may not, or we can say others do not. So with, with once again, when someone is born, they will have a ten, They will have within them, even if you want to say it's from a part of the upbringing, but it's still their ability to be programmed. Even if you want to say it's it's nurture versus nature, it's still once again it's still talking about the ability of a, a human being to be programmed in a certain manner. And once they are programmed in that manner, then that's where they're gonna be stuck in. So. And it's still, they still take away the free will because in fact they are able to be programmed. If you're able to be programmed, then you have no free will. If if I am influenced by my upbringing, if I am influenced by my by my surroundings, my environment, then what do I what what freedom do I have over who I am? If I'm influenced by once again my by how my brain works, by the wiring itself, by the chemicals within it then where is the freedom within that? There, there is no freedom. So to, so to think that is unnatural, um, 
I find incorrect. I understand why someone would find, why someone would have a problem with uh, homosexuality, with somebody being a, so, a quote-unquote quote freeloader. Why? Because that's who they are as a person. They are naturally word, uh, wired to think that way. Someone who is against homosexuality is naturally wired to be against homosexuality for whatever reason, whether there is, you know, it's part of evolution or, you know, whatever it is. That's a natural process. And then they can choose to express, you know, disdain for it or not. Or maybe even not them. Maybe the people who express it have no choice but to express it. They have to. They don't. They have to express it. Those who, who, who commit hate crimes because of such things, they have to because that's what they are. So there is no such thing as being unnatural. Once again, a person, it, 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 when a person is born, the, the, minute, the minute, the second they are conceived, that inception, conception, there's a process going on. And, 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 and you're talking about, about odds, talking about odds um, and, and things of that nature, you know, the, the, the odds and chances of things happening. Everything, there's a, there's, there might be an infinite number of possibilities, or there might be a finite, but even a finite could be a large, very large number of possibilities of, of somebody being some way. First, it starts with our very, our very build of our body. Is it is it unnatural for somebody? I just saw a guy on TV. Is it unnatural for somebody to be born with another head coming out their face? Ultimately, what you're talking about is a set of twins that didn't separate, all right? So the egg didn't separate correctly, all right? Correctly, um, as we think is normal, it didn't separate, so it, it so they fuse together. But it's un, it's not unnatural. It's natural. It's it's a natural process of what could happen and the fact that it could happen it did happen it's unnatural for somebody to be born with the heart of a hole in the heart it's not normal by numerical standards it's not normal when you when you use math to when you when you apply it to math because there are more people born with a normal heart or, or a heart without a hole in it than are people who are born with a heart with a hole in it but it doesn't mean it's unnatural. It just means the odds went in a different ma went in a different way. It was possible, and that which is possible can happen, may happen, and probably over an extended length of time will happen. So someone can be heterosexual, someone can be homosexual, someone can be bisexual. That which can happen will happen. It, it's natural. Everything everything is natural. Everything is natural. If it can happen, it may happen. It even will happen, possibly, given enough time. So, it's not bad to be lazy. Somebody has to be lazy. Just as somebody wants to work hard, somebody has to be lazy. Someone who loves everybody, and someone who, lays, who hates everybody. Someone who believes in you should hurt, you shouldn't hurt even, you know, an ant. There's someone who believes in killing people. It's all natural. 